All right, yeah, that's definitely true. So we've got a fantastic chicken dish. So it's the last of the Rangi Tiki Chicken Week. Uh, we're using breast today, and I've got some great tips on keeping that nice and moist and flavoursome in the middle and show you a little bit later. Really summery, Italian-inspired dish, fresh asparagus, and with nice rocket, cherry tomato, and buffalo Ooh. salad dressed with some balsamic vinegar. It's going to be awesome. Yum! That is inspiring. It's good. I've really enjoyed Chicken Week. It's been great. Thanks. I know. I know. That's one of my faves. <laughs> we are in the cafe kitchen, one of my favourite places. Is one of my favourite men, Mark, and we've got a fantastic chicken dish to round off Rangatake Chicken Week, haven't we? And can I just say, all these ingredients spread out like this, it looks fresh, it looks invigorating, and it looks pretty easy to put together. Yeah, it's very easy, very simple. So go, going down the Italian track there, we've got lots of greens for the freshness, cherry tomatoes, whites, reds, and this beautiful um, free-range chicken here. Nice. Right, so we're going to talk about the chicken first. Yes. So just got a bit of rosemary, so just stripping it off the... Um, the main stem, right. and then you're going to chop it up. So it's quite a hard uh, herb rosemary. So get a sharp knife and give it a really good ch um, chop up. Yep. Um, so you don't want to be biting on too big a bit. No, true, you don't. Well, a, little bit, a little bit stalky right. in your mouth. Yeah, don't you, don't, you yeah. don't want it to be stalky. A little bit's all right. Um, give you a little bit of texture, but it'll give you some amazing flavour, right? Nice. I'm going to get this flavour into the chicken. Mm. Okay, and we're going to be using chicken breast today. Yep, chicken Free breast. range chicken breast from yep. Langatike, always good. Right, so chicken breast here. So you've got to be really careful careful cooking chicken breast, otherwise you will dry it out because it's so lean. So okay. here's a little tip for you. Yes. I'm just going to trim it up a little bit. We've got the uh, chicken um, fillet here. Yeah. So I'm going to use that there. Flip it around, and I'm going to make a little incision. So just be careful at the top on the thin part of the chicken. I'm going to go all the way down, and I'm making a little pocket. Okay. Okay, and we're sort of spreading it out. So we've got more of a surface area for the chicken. Nice. Give it a nice season, so we're getting seasoning inside the chicken. Yeah. Salt and pepper. That's some of that beautiful rosemary. So you're going to get all this flavour inside the chicken. Beautiful. And here's my little tip and secret. A little bit of butter oh, there you go. inside keep it nice and the chicken. Moist yeah. and flavoursome. Oh, yeah, that's it. Yeah, exactly. And then what we do, just carefully pop it all back, roll it over. Right. So your butter's in the middle. Just trim a little bit more off there. And then we're just going to cook it carefully, just like a normal chicken. So I've got a pan on over here. OK, so we're going to just pan roast it. We're not yeah. going to put it in the oven. Well, we're going to pan roast it, yes. um, and then we're going to put it in the oven. Okay, so we're cool. going to get colour in the pan first, and then pop it in the oven. Nice. OK, so you can put, put a little splash of oil as well. Little Go lightly with the seasoning over the top, because we have got that seasoning inside. Right. And then, obviously, you've got to get a nice hot pan. Yep. Get the oil hot. And we'll start it like that. We'll you started some... it upside down, though. Why is that? Yeah, well, that's the presentation side. OK, cool. So we're going to start it, start it on that side. Get some nice colour. Just be careful, because we don't want to put it in the pan too much, because it's going to get too hot, and then all the butter's going to come out. But the butter will melt and make it nice and moist as we're going. So I'm just going to well. finish the other one off. Yeah, this then is be delicious. Nice colour, flip it over, and then we can just put the whole thing in the oven. Easy okay, so there. put the whole pan in the oven. With your little bit of butter. Just, just. Oh. <laughs> wow. I, keep... I tell you what, it's going to make it taste so good. I know butter is pretty expensive at the moment, isn't it? But it's is very expensive, so yeah, go well easy on it. it. Yeah, well worth it. Well, even, even just a little bit is just, uh, you know, just gives you that extra flavour. Nice work. There you go. That goes on there. I've got a pan of uh, really hot water in there. Yes. Uh, I'm going to bring it to the boil. Yep. Make sure you salt it, and this is going to be for our asparagus after. OK. So I'm going to show you how to prep it and cook it so you get the perfect asparagus, and then we'll just make a little salad. Rangatake chicken, keep an eye out for it, buy it. It tastes delicious because it's free range, and it's so easy to use. So many different ways you can buy it. And today we're using chicken breasts, but they are in the oven, are they, Mark? Yeah, so the breasts cool. are in the oven. We've got that beautiful butter and rosemary in the centre, so that's just going to flavour and keep it nice and moist. Right, asparagus, so it's in season now, get it. Just remember the end part is really woody, so just cut that off, you don't want that. Nah. This is what you want. You know, you can you can peel it, be fancy with it, or take these spikes off, or just blanch it like that. Nice, uh, fresh asparagus about that size is perfect like that. So salted boiling water, it goes right. in there, probably take about a minute, minute and a half, a little bit thicker, maybe two minutes, that's it. Serve it straight away. If you're not gonna serve it straight away, just take it out, plunge it in some ice water and then you can eat it cold or you can just warm it back up a little bit later. That's how you want to do it. OK, on that then, how do you warm it up again? What's the best and way to do it? So you can warm it up just in a little bit of uh, water, yes. a little bit of salt and a little bit of butter, and it makes okay. a nice glaze oh, over it. Brilliant. Um, or just throw it in the oven or chuck it on the barbecue, anything you want, you know, okay, sky's cool. the limits. Right, so a nice little salad to go with the chicken. So some just some uh, rocket leaves. Yep. Got some half cherry tomatoes in there. 
I've got this beautiful mozzarella as well I'm just going to cut. Oh, nice beautiful. chunks, you know, just quite rustic dish. And then we're just going to make a really fast um, balsamic dressing. Brilliant. So I've got some balsamic vinegar here. Yep. So that goes in. Easy. Yeah. A little bit of salt and pepper. Yep. Cool. And then just a little bit of oil. So you can whisk that. Okay, cool. I'll pop a little bit of oil in there just to give it a nice mouthfeel and texture. And then we'll give that a little taste. You know, Smells so we've got that so creamy rich. mozzarella, we've got that beautiful rocket, uh, really sort of rich chicken with all that butter. So we want this quite sharp, you know. If you don't want it too mm. sharp, you can add a little pinch of uh, sugar if you want. No, I like but we like do that. want it quite sharp. Yeah, that's sharp. And then, is it too sharp? No, I think oh, it's beautiful. And then just a little bit over there. Look at that. You don't want to do too much, and you just want to toss it. Obviously, do this the last minute. Once, once your chicken's come out, give it a rest for a couple of minutes, your chicken, before you slice it. And then that's when you want to be dressing the salad. But that's how easy it is. Look at that. Brilliant. Asparagus and I think is here. Done. Yep. So you can see it's becoming nice and, uh, nice and green. Take it out. Obviously, I can do it like this because I've got chef fingers. <laughs> yes. um, but that's what you want, you know. It's beautiful and green. It's perfect to eat now. And if you look, it's nice and soft, but you've still got a little bit of texture in there. Absolutely. Look at that. Brilliant. Mm. That's how quick it is to cook, mm. you know. Obviously, again, yeah. last minute, straight on the plate. It's absolutely fantastic. It's Brilliant. Love okay, it. looking forward to seeing the chicken when it's finished, OK? But um, before we go, yep. what are you up to this weekend? Because well, I've got Google alerts on you, Mark. You're up to <laughs> something, aren't you? Yeah, I've got another busy weekend this weekend. So I'm actually doing a demo at the Fresh Factory for Thermomix. So I'm going to be using this machine, and I'm going to be showing you some tips on different things you can do, use on this machine. So we're making a romesco, and we're going to make a hollandaise sauce all in the machine at once. It's going to be great. Quite an incredible machine, yeah, isn't yeah, it? Yeah. You know, we had that machine on the show probably oh, a year ago, I think, and yeah, I yeah. fell in love with it. It makes life so much easier. <laughs> and with your mag magic recipes, it's going to be brilliant. And it's an open home, which means from 9 to 4, if you'd like to attend, you still have to register, though. Just go to thermomix.co.nz. The Fresh Factory in Auckland is where it's being held, but you can find details at that website. And you will learn about what the Thermomix can do, which is... 12 appliances in one. It even measures your ingredients. It makes it pretty easy, doesn't it? Very Fools easy. like me can use it. <laughs> and of course, it's used by professional chefs all over the world, including our very own Mark. Okay. Get over, oh, Mark. look at that. So there's the chicken. You see how moist it is Ooh, with the, yeah. uh, all that butter inside and rosemary. Nice work. That looks delicious.